Hey guys, what's up? It's time to get our drink on again. This time we're going to be comparing three wines of the same variety, from the same region, but from three different price points. We're trying out Cabernet Sauvignon, all from southeastern Australia. And just a little fact, Cabernet Sauvignon is the number one grape variety grown across the world. We are starting off with Wolf Blast, their Eagle Hawk variant. This is the cheapest among the three, coming at 319 pesos. So let's get it started. Right away, the whiff of the alcohol from this one is very strong. It has that typical characteristic of Australian Cabernet Sauvignon, which is quite jammy. I don't know if you can see it, but the color actually tends to be a little lighter than your usual full-bodied red. So far, this is a lighter colored cab, but with a good whiff of alcohol. Um, that sounds like a party. We're good, streaky! That's a very menthol flavor. There's not much depth that I could abstract from it, so let's go in for another round. So yeah, although in the nose I mentioned that it was jammy, but it's actually not. It's very mentholy, it's quite minerally, like a stone flavor there. It's not as fruity as it smells like. It's surprising in that way, but there's not too much flavor that I can get from it. It's, it's fine actually if you like things a little bitter. In my previous videos, there have been Cabernet Sauvignons that probably have more depth at lower price points, but this is fine. I guess it's not the worst thing. For our second wine, this is from Lindemans, from their Bin 45 range, a 2018 Cabernet Sauvignon. For the color, it's a lot darker, a reddish-brown color. On the nose, it's quite interesting because a bit of this mushroomy type of flavor, so there's something meaty about it. Also, there's something funky, like a little bit of cheese. And let's go in. For a Cabernet Sauvignon, it's rather on the medium-bodied side of red wine rather than being full-bodied. So it's a little lighter for a typical Cabernet Sauvignon. That scent of cheese and, oh, yeah. cheese. and a little bit of mushroom is there. So it's a bit of a meaty wine. The finish is shorter than what I was expecting. That's what she said! <laughs> So the Lindemann's Cabernet Sauvignon actually comes at 380 pesos. So far, in terms of depth and complexity, I would lean towards Lindemann's. It has that signature jammy Australian Cabernet flavor. Let's have another one. I'm really looking for a cheese now. Wow, cheese. Is that you? Okay, so for the last one, again, we have the very popular 19 Crimes line. This one would be the most expensive, 599 pesos, so it's almost double of the Wolf Blast. Is this one twice as good? That's always tricky, so let's see. Ooh, so this one, typical to 19 crimes, it always comes out of the bottle with a very sweet aroma. Vanilla, something like star anise. It's fragrant in that very sweet way, almost in a dessert wine. And I don't know if that's a good thing. A lot of berries, and not just berries, but like strawberry jam or uh, blueberry jam is, is what's coming to mind. Let's go in. Oh. Mm hmm. I see what you did there. <laughs> I'm surprised by this one because it comes in sweet. You're expecting that it's gonna be sweet all the way through but then the flavor settle in. It's actually bitter. Flavors of black currant, a little bit leathery. It's called a flogger. A little bit oaky, a little bit of wood. So, and as much as it's sweet and the aromas are sweet, it's like a one-two punch. It comes in sweet, but comes in with a lot of depth. Very interesting. Also not very tannic. So at 599 is 19 crimes worth twice of Eagle Hawk really depends. I mean, if you have more company, it's always good to have more bottles if you're going to be focusing on quantity. Quantity that has some decent quality, if I may add. Maybe if you're just drinking for two or by yourself and wanting to splurge a little and wanting to have a little bit of complexity with, with the flavors that you want, um, the 19 crimes might be it for you. So amongst the three, so this is the hard part, 
You know what? The Lindemann's Cabernet Sauvignon actually tastes very good a few days after it's being aerated. But for now, opening it from the get-go and just having maybe 30 minutes of being aerated, it would be 19 crimes for me, which has the most complexity of flavors and generally more, more enjoyable. So if you're new to wine, it's very hard to go wrong with Cabernet Sauvignon. So try these out. There's a bottle for almost every price point. These are of great value when you buy them from SNR. If you're not a member, I'm actually recommending one of the new app delivery services available, Pickaroo, like Kangaroo, fitting to our Australia theme today. For 250 pesos off your first order, use my promo code MARK7188. I've done a couple of wine videos that you can click on here, here, and here. If you've liked it, please don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe if you haven't already. And I'll see you again next time. Cheers, guys.